Stories. I worked at a record store and I used to see this man bring his own records into the, the music people and I'm the guy in the back recording the records coming in and coming out and I keep noticing this man and his own record label busted coming in and bringing these cassettes and these vinyls and I'm like damn it I got I got to do whatever it is he's doing and he inspired my partner King Tech and I to start All City Productions and Records out of my mother's house right over 23rd and I start doing the same thing and the owner of the shop realized I was doing it and he fired me because I was acting like this next guest, <laughs> right? But that didn't stop him, you know. He went on to become um, the first hip hop artist to ever go diamond. <laughs> cartoons, he had a cartoon series. He has every award in the book, whether it's Grammys, American Music Awards, NAACP Awards, he has them all. He lifted people from the Bay Area and gave them opportunities and put them on the road to see the world, to perform on the biggest stages and bring those experiences back and pollinate them throughout the whole entire Bay Area so we can all be inspired. So when this man gets up to speak, I really want you to celebrate him because that's not what he does. He, he walks with humility in his purpose, but I want to say to a man, you're an incredible human being. I appreciate the relationship you have with Tupac, and I appreciate the relationship you have with the Bay Area. Please welcome the one and only MC Hammer. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Can't No, no, it's all good. It's it's a uh, pop day. It's pop day. I, I love y'all. I heard all the stories. I heard all. I heard every one of them. I heard all the stories the last almost thirty years now. Um, I'm gonna take my time and say this. You see, I'm from uh, Lockwood. I grew up. I went to Lockwood. I went to Manzanita. I went to Garfield. I lived on Peralta. My grandmama house on Anline. I hung out at the Farmery Park. High Street is where I grew up my whole life from. Bank boys. Nah, the bank, the bank boys. The Burrells, Ghost Town. Y'all know what it is, all of it. So we not here, you know, finessing nothing. We're talking about Oakland. When when Pac say he got his game from Oakland, because hip hop is so uh, I ain't got the patience for the fakeness. Let me say it that way. Since hip hop is so smoke and mirrors and images and characters that people create in the studio don't got nothing to do really with real life, except when a Pac come along and a few others come along. When he say he got his game from Oakland, he's talking about a Oakland, the spirit, the culture, the ancestors. He's talking about the Pullman Porters, who was the first black organization to take on the corporation. He's talking about Bill Russell, who became the first black head NBA coach. He's talking about Frank Robinson, who became the first major league black baseball coach. He's talking about 1963 when Malcolm X came to McClyman's high school. You know who was with him on that day? Cassius Clay. So he's talking about Ali. He's talking about the two cats that were sitting at McClyman's high school when Cassius Clay came and they had a conversation. That conversation led to these two young men, one named Huey Newton. They got inspired. If you're going to really understand what the culture of this is, you can't fake this. When he said he got his game from the town, he's talking about those trailblazers. He's talking about their commitment. Then came the rest of it, the Panthers. The hip-hop thing didn't come to 80s. Short was the first one that started doing that here in Oakland. I came right behind him. But the rap is one thing. But representing the people, understanding the people, loving the people, giving back to the people, supporting the people, that's what the town business is. 
That's what town business is. You, I don't respect you when you say you town business. Your only contribution is who you knock down. Anybody can do that. Matter of fact, my homeboys you know what I always tell them, man. I, all you cats I know, you only knock down people you know. When the mother cats come, I don't see you. Y'all y'all respect outsiders more than you respect cats from the town. So I don't really hang with you. Plus you like rap more than I do. But <laughs> no, for real, they like rap. It's like a movie, you know. But the part that I know, uh, Spice One had a video. And Pac got there early. Then I got there. And that's a miracle that I was there early. But some cats came. And they and Pac had came by itself. And uh, I saw that they, you know, body language. Y'all know what it is. They, they was kind of starting to feel themselves the way they was addressing Pac. So I told Pac, hey, Pac, come here for a minute, man. Stand right here, right next to me. Then I say, them cats, hey man, what, what is it a, is a problem with pot? And uh, no, Hammer, we were just telling him how much we, he love his, we love his music. Yeah, right. The next time that I saw pot, the stories earlier are the stories before Death Row. The pot I was with was his last eight months at Death Row. I was with him every day, even the last day, the last night. Even the two days before that, we were in New York. But you ain't never heard me talk about no stories on nobody's platform. You ain't heard me uh, go to none of these Hip Hop 50, and just for the record, I got invited to every one. But I really don't have the patience for the fakeness. I'm really, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm really 60 years old. So I can't really, be, you know, I can't get with the fakeness of it all. You know what I'm saying? like. I can do it with a young cat, but I can't come around old cats and still be pretending. What you want me to call you? Six shooter, ain't six shooter. Man, come on, man. Man, man, come on, man. Ain't none of your bodies turned up yet. Every I, I just can't do it. But I might, you know, I might get. I don't know. But Pac got me out here today. My first hip hop 50 event that I said yeah to, and the only one is to come and say how much I love Pac, right? So let me just say this. Let, let me let me just say this. So, so from December all the way until that night in Vegas, every day or every other day, I was with Pop. We made plans. We strategized. I even strategized that last night. I strategized two or three days before them. I told them how we need to go to Vegas. The thing is this. Tupac, hands down the greatest rapper ever. It's not even a question of that. It's not questionable. I'm not I'm not into what your first or your last bar is, your punchline. I'm talking about the totality of what you said. <laughs> right, right. If you want to do that, that's a different kind of contest. If if we're gonna talk about the substance of the music, the spirit behind the artist and he, and who he is, Pac is the greatest ever. I walked into the studio and Pac had already recorded a new Hammer song. And I was like, what's this, Pac? And he said, man, I gotta, you know, I told you, I'm gonna make sure you tight. So, I, you know, I pushed the button and here come the uh, skin tight. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom. You wonder why they call me Hammer. I said, I say, oh, like, like that, Pac? So I, I, I laid that down. And then a week later, he said, go to the studio, have and push the thing. And I pushed the button, and, it said, and uh, uh, it said, come listen to my truest thoughts, my truest feelings, all my peers doing years behind all these killings. How many bodies must we witness before we see it's hard to live this life without God, so we must ask forgiveness. Ask mama why I got an urge to die and witness the tears flowing free from her eyes before she could reply. For we were born without a silver spoon. My broken down TV shows cartoons in my living room. One day I hope to make it. A player in this game. Mama don't cry as long as we try. Maybe things will change. Perhaps it's just a fantasy. A life where we don't need welfare and we share with our own families. Maybe it's me that causes. The fighting and the hurting in my room crying because I didn't want to be a burden. Watch mama open up her arms and hug me. 
And I ain't worried about a damn thing because she still love me. And this game is lessons for your eyes to see. Though things change, the future's still inside of me. We must remember that tomorrow comes after the dark. So you will always be in my heart with unconditional love. I said, Pop, what you want me to do with that? He said, I need you to rap that. I said, you want me to rap, represent, a, he said, Hammer, that's, just follow me. This needs to be said to our folks. I want you to say it, not me to say it. I want you to say this. So I laid down the record. Pop was committed to a future of business, touring. He said, Hammer, this is what we going to do. We going on tour. We going to start at the top of Seattle. We're going all the way down to San Diego, but we're only going to high schools. And this is what it's going to be. In order for anybody to get in the concert, they're going to have to have at least a C plus or better. I said, oh, is that right, Pac? He said, yeah. And I'm going to tell him Uncle Hammer made us do it. I love you, Pac. I love the family. I appreciate y'all coming out here, supporting him. Not only do he deserve a, a street, he deserves so much more. Uh, he was taken away from us, and I just give God the glory for his life and his town business forever. Rest in peace, Father. Can't touch this.